Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Xenonauts. Um, what are we doing actually? <laughs> I forgot from last time. Well, we've lost Central America, which is bad, and you can see relations bad, which is weird. I don't know, we've shot a few UFOs down here, we even have had a base here. There's bad relations with South America, but predicted change is positive. Of course, it's only the 4th of December, so that might change. Uh, North America doesn't really care, poor relations. Good relations with Europe, I'm surprised it's not superb. Good relations with Northern Africa. Southern Africa is pumping out a lot of money. Good relations. Uh, Middle East, excellent relations. Soviet Union, poor relations, really. Even though I've shot down that many UFOs, yeah, we definitely need a base over here. Um, Indochina, poor relations, yeah, not great. Poor relations with Australasia, hmm. Not great. So what are we doing? We're researching alien assault plasma. We are making the Shrike dropship. I see. Okay. And we've got some people hurt, unfortunately. Ant Eaters will probably be joining us for the next... Yeah. Um, let's get Ant Eaters for the next one. Battle Bunny has 92 time units. That's so ridiculous. Jezdemel 94. Uh, heavy weapons shield the booth. Let's have Prash uh, Russian Prime Minister for a little bit on base defense. Um, unassigned and get Ant Eater as a rifleman. There we go. Ooh, that's quite severely overloaded, unfortunately. There. One smoke grenade for you, just in case. Charlie 1. There we go. All right. Now, let's proceed, see if we can find any UFOs. Ah! Woo, that's very different. Alien Assault Plasma. The Alien Assault pl Plasma is a two-handed alien infantry weapon, roughly 28 inches in length and 5 kilograms in weight. Though it employs a different method of operation, it acts much like a shotgun in effect. It spits multiple pellets of deadly plasma at the target. These pellets are, of course, nothing of the sort. Each is an individual bolt of plasma fired from one of the weapon's three entirely separate barrels. The device employs a particularly large generation array, which allows all three of the barrels to simultaneously discharge a bolt of plasma that is almost as powerful as the bolt fired by the alien plasma rifle. This makes the weapon highly dangerous at short range. If all three shots strike the same target, it is unlikely to survive the experience. Thankfully, this weapon is inaccurate. It uh, has medio mediocre armor penetration and a very limited range. It does not appear to utilize the standard graviton emitter seen on the other alien weapons at all. Tackle enemies wielding this weapon at a distance as it relies on proximity uh, sorry, it relies on proximity <laughs> rather than precision. Uh, interesting. Didn't really give me anything, but let's do the heavy plasma then. Alright, I should probably do the electroshock grenades as well, but yeah, for now that will be fine. Uh, one soldier has arrived. Okay, let's see who that is. It is Derek Martinez, who is going to be renamed... What was the last one? It was Anteaters, right? So now we have Captain Kastler. So he's private, Captain Kastler. <laughs> uh, could we incorporate him as well? And s oh. We've got, oh, oh yeah, we've already got two rookies, Mephato and Anteaters. Yeah, we can't do another one. That would be a bit dangerous at this point. So you'll be at base defense for now. Right. Give me something to shoot down. There we go. Already quite a few of them. Ah, this one has an escort. Then that one has an escort as well. Let's send both the Corsairs to that one. And let's send send the fox struts to that one, and this one is a small one, so one fox strut should be enough, I believe. Let's see, two thousand, yeah. Another UFO. Oh, another with uh, escorts. Hmm. We don't really have stuff to fight these ones. Only a condor two and a Roy Fokker. Yeah, that's... hmm. Wait, what are these? Only these two? Yeah, they have no chance against those fighters, I think. I mean, I guess they can go and try. 
But I think it's gonna be a very one-sided battle. Let's go and try, why not? Alright, so, this is this one. Let's engage. Alright. Should be interesting. Uh, now, the, the good thing about these guys is that... Um, the Corsairs have the Gatling lasers. So they can just punish these guys. Quite severely. Wait a second, are they only going for one Corsair? No! They're going for one each. Alright, so let's go for this one first. This might be a bit... Ow. Oh, bloody hell. They're going crazy on them already. Man, they've already destroyed both of them! Holy crap, these things are good. Wow. And those were actually missiles. Interesting. Well, let's uh, speed up. Alright. That's alright. Full speed, please. And then slow down. Take it down. Man, that's ridiculous. Ah, <laughs> very nice. Wow, these Corsairs are dangerous with that Gatling laser. Well, double Gatling laser. Alright, so there it is. There's our mission right there. Um, how much do these guys still have? 75 fuel... Hmm, probably won't be able to get there, but I'm gonna try anyway. Right, let's engage this one. It's over the water, unfortunately. But, oh well. I'm just gonna do this anyway. Fox turret 3, shoot it down. And go home. Fox turret, go home. Alright, excellent. That is good. Oh, that was that one. Oh, I see. I thought it was this one. Well, let's uh, smash this crash site. That should uh, make... Oh, yeah. North America is already plus 28,000. Just from that one, apparently. Oh, that's interesting. Right, there we go. That's the Corvette with the both of the Foxtrots. Let's see. How much do they still have? 74. No, just engage it. Engage it! Right, engage it, please. We only need three torpedoes for this. And then we can go home. Excellent. Actually, I shouldn't have done that just in case it survives for some reason. Crashes into the sea, unfortunately, but uh, we would have been out of uh, fuel otherwise. Oh, can the Corsairs actually get there? Well, let's see how this works, shall we? 79% victory, really? I can scarcely believe that. Right, let's not use these. These guys are going to be in trouble. Roy Fokker, let's see what you can do. It's going to be problematic. Let's get this one first. Ooh, this is going to be dangerous. Very dangerous. Which one is it going for? Alright. Nice! Already destroyed them. Wow. That is pretty good. Oh. Nice. Ow. Well, that was uh, quite amazing, to be honest. Right, now. Do you guys have enough fuel to escape this guy? Probably not. Actually, wait. Who's it going for? Okay, it's going for Condor 2. Ugh. This thing is fast. Very fast. But we're gonna run out of fuel before that. Right, come on, let's try to get it down. What's up with the missiles, Roy Fokker? What? Why is it not using... Are you telling me it can't shoot the missiles at this thing? Or do I have to lock it? Ah, oh, there we go. How much is that? 76. Yeah, that's not gonna be enough. Right, um, Condor 2. Try to get around this thing. Yeah, you'll have the fuel, that's alright. Well, let's try that. Ooh. Oh, bloody hell, damn it! Ah, crap, I wasn't paying attention there. Oh, great, yeah, go that way. So you will get destroyed now. No! Cancel! Oh, oh, excellent, you can actually cancel this. Uh oh! Yeah, not great. Full speed, please. Get out of there, right now. 
Damn, I wasn't paying attention there. Ah, bloody hell. That was a big shame. Big, big shame. I could have gotten this thing down. Oh, well. The, um, the Corsairs will get it down. I'm quite surprised that these guys actually managed to take the fighters down. I think the ali aliens will have to go back to the drawing boards. I mean, if they create fighters that can't even fight our uh, basic interceptors. Jeez. Well, at least... No. Get out of here. Get out! You have to get out of here! Right, excellent. Alright, yeah, the, uh... 51% on the Corsairs. Yeah, I don't think they'll, they'll be able to catch it. Uh, no, damn it. I was so close as well. Big shame. But I, I want to get this one. Just for the relations bonus. 50% uh, ammo, Foxtrot. Come on. How's the ammo? 100% Foxtrot, go. Of course it's not until un overland. Come on. Oh, you Bloody bastard. 82% right. Let's launch this crash site. With Charlie 1. Come on. Oh, you've got to be kidding me, right? Come on. Go over land now. Go. Finally. Yeah, this thing is 78% damage. So I think one torpedo should do it. Yeah, one torpedo should do it. But let's, let's find out. Doesn't really matter. We can fire both. And boom, nicely done. Okay, so that's some uh, more uh, money, and hopefully, I don't know, does it count where it drops? So does this count for Centr Central America? No, I think it counts for... Hmm, I'm not sure, to be completely honest. Let's uh, airstrike it. There we go. All right, let's go to this crash site. Yeah, there's uh, another UFO over there, but it's too far away to do anything about, unfortunately. We definitely need a new base there. The problem is money. Of course, when we build a new base there and have more interceptors there, that will start making money as well, because they will be shooting down UFOs. But, as always, it's, uh, it's very expensive upkeep. Use free aim mode to target anything. Even the sky. All right. Ooh, once again, moving my... Uh, Oh, that's the same bloody map we've been playing on several times now. That's a bit annoying. All right, do we see any aliens? Not yet. All right, at least we're here in the corner. And I kind of know how the map goes. Yeah, there's the UFO. That's the same bloody map! Ah, oh, that's a bit annoying, really? Captain Missy. Um, you're pretty good over here if you go to one of these. Actually, no. Let's go over here, and we'll be uh, able to shoot inside the UFO from here, if we are lucky. Uh, do we have another shield? We don't, apparently. Major Battle Bunny, let's go this way. We can use these cars for uh, cover. Still nothing, though. Alright. Private Ant Eaters, we definitely want you. Somewhere over there, but let's let's make sure there's no aliens in here first. That would be pretty bad. Major Jesdemo. Anything over here? Hello? No, not for now. That's quite far away. I don't think I want to go all the that way. Shia Leboeuf, we definitely want you in the uh in the UFO. There we go from this way. And then we have Major Riamu, who can join Battle Bunny over here. This is quite a nice spot to snipe from. There we go. And we also have Private Mefatu, who will go this way. And watch this area. Alright. End the turn. Oh. Whoa, whoa! Bloody hell. Okay, so that was a drone, I believe. That was, that was quite nasty. Okay, it's Seasons. It is Seasons. Because we got Psy attacked. Hidden movement. Oh, and it's so nice that these sound effects are much quieter now. How do they how do they do that? Apparently they don't need to see us on the map at all. We just need to be present, that's all, I guess. Where the hell are they? We should have been 
able to see something by now. Oh man, don't tell me there's someone back here. Okay, good. Phew. Right, Major Ryami, you stay there. And Battle Bunny, yeah, we can go over here, but mm, it's dangerous. Let's wait over here for now, I guess. Private Mifatu. Make sure there's no one here in the corner. Good. Now, you guys. There we go, there's a season right there. Private Anteaters. Uh, you probably won't be able to get a clean shot. Wait, is this? Yeah, that's a 45% block. That's pretty good, actually. Can you take a shot on this guy? You can. 46, not great. <laughs> not bad. <laughs> one shot, one kill. That was pretty amazing. And if they come through here, you will still have some block. So that's pretty good. Captain Missy, let's go over here. You will uh, be here and shoot inside the UFO if necessary. Um, hmm. I want to check this part over here as well. Shield the boof. You know what? Shield the boof should go over here. And shoot inside the UFO if something moves. Right. I think we're all ready. Let's end the turn. Ah, there they are. Somebody shoot. Nice. Just the most shooting, but unfortunately missing and not even uh, suppressing the guy. That's unfortunate. Oh. <laughs> Suits you for trying to shoot past your buddy. That was... <laughs> that was amazing. That was awesome. I think that's the first time I actually saw an alien um, team kill. <laughs> Ah, oh, lovely. Now the question is, can Captain Miss... Ah, of course it's a bloody block. Oh, that was poetic. That was that was brilliant. Alright, let's see how much. 61 only. <laughs> Not bad. Not bad at all. Don't think I want to go out of here. That's pretty cool, though. Let's try it. <laughs> Pew! Didn't really do anything. Yeah, but don't let that uh, pitiful sound confuse you. That's quite a powerful little pistol. 41 only. How about you do this? <laughs> nicely done, Jasdemo. Very nicely done. Alright, uh, Private Anteaters, make sure there's no one here flanking us. Good, there's no one except one civilian. Let's go over here, there's no one there. And shield the booth. We'll get ready to barge into the UFO as well. Good. This is going well so far, but we're not. Oh, there's the uh, there's the drone. Right. You won't be able to shoot from. Oh, you will. Excellent. Fifty six only. <coughs> ah, f come on, Mafatu. You can do better than that. And we shoot like that. Now, see, this is what I don't understand. If I target this guy, it also, you know, illuminates Mifatu with this. Does that mean I have a chance to hit Mifatu? I have no idea. It doesn't say. It doesn't say it's a block or something. So I have no clue. I, I'm gonna guess not. Unfortunately, I can't do two shots. I can only do one. <laughs> oh, very nicely done. Battle Bunny, very nicely done. Let's go back into cover. Alright, and Ryamu is going to check out this place. Just to make sure. Hopefully, okay, good. But let's wait and cover over here. Excellent. Alright. Well, we are going to continue next time when we barge into the UFO and kill everyone involved. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.